One of the next update themes for an upcoming Forza Horizon 5 update is going to be called the Community Choice Series. I'll go over how you can enter this, how you can be a part of this update, because this is an update where us as a community are going to be able to choose what this update contains. And what does this mean for the future of Horizon 5? Are they running out of updates? And is this a sign of the end of major Forza Horizon 5 updates to come? Now it starts over on Twitter. Now there are three parts to this. There is a festival playlist form, there are badges and liveries. Let's talk about the festival playlist form, which starts from this thread or this tweet here. Forza Horizon tweeted, fancy designing a future festival playlist? Of course you do. Of course you do. Watch the video to find out more, then click here. Now, this is the video. Hello everyone, Leah here to tell you about how you, yes you, can get involved in designing the festival playlist for an upcoming series update in Forza Horizon 5. Check the link below where you can go and submit your choices and the winners will help make up the contents of a future update. Now the link in that tweet takes you straight to this page here. I will have this linked in the description. I First of all, I encourage every single one of you watching to go and click on this link and fill out the form because that is what they want us to do. We're going to be going through the form now. And while you're clicking links, make sure to subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss any videos like this in the future. It does say at the top that this is your chance to choose how the Community Choice series will look like as your votes will be taken into consideration for the series of the, for the Festival Playlist series. Now we have the option to pick up to two hard to find cars that we want to return. Now these are cars that were previously only available through the festival playlist that are now returning so you can pick those two cars carefully and then you've got all the little stuff like the quick chat rewards most of these are up to two at once so we've got emote rewards clothing rewards car horn rewards we have the option to see more event lab or seasonal championships in a week more than the other we have the option to pick Forza EV or monthly rivals or both. So that's going to mix it up a bit. It seems like this could be based off what results they get. This could be a very different festival playlist to usual. More Horizon Open, treasure chest collectible or eliminator challenges in a week. What would we rather see more of? Which collectible would we like to see returning from the ones below? Which evolving world update would you like to see return? Now that is a cool one. We, we have the option to receive the neon runway Stadium Ice Rink, Stunt Park, or the Summer Party Evolving World Changes return. I can imagine the Stunt Park is probably going to win on that one. What Evolving World PR stunts would we like to see back? What race decorations would we like to see return? Now that's quite cool. Forza Horizon 1, 2, 3 and 4 are all available there. What challenges would we like to see in the weekly challenge? Number 15 is quite a custom one. Send us your best car puns relating to the theme of community choice. I'm terrible at thinking of stuff like that, so that's a field I'm probably going to leave blank for mine. What races would we like to see in summer, autumn, winter and spring? What weather, light, what weather types would we like to see in the trial? If you pick heavy rain or light rain, you are a lunatic. What time of day would you like to see in the trial? Would we like to see survival, team flag rush, king in the playground games, blah blah blah. What would we like to see there? Send us your favourite event lab in a form of a share code. So you've got an opportunity to vote for a good event lab there. What car restriction would we like to see in the festival playlist? What circuits do we want to see used in the monthly rivals? What game mode would we want to see in the Horizon Open Challenge? What challenges would we like to see in the... Oh, I cannot speak today. What challenges would you like to see in the Horizon Open? And penultimately, would you like to see credits or Forzathon points as a reward for the tre treasure chest challenges? And last but not least, photo challenges. What landmark would we like to see in the photo challenges and festival playlist? So that is the full spreadsheet list or whatever you form, I suppose you could say, that they have given us. Now, this is going to be an interesting update because there are certain ones where it's quite obvious which one's going to win. Now the second portion of this is this here. Horizon Creative and Livery Artists, we need you. Share your design ideas for the upcoming blah 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 blah. Head to the forums for all the details on how to submit badges and liveries. Here are the details on the rules of the badges here. Seems like Playground Games are going to be picking a community made badge to be added to this update which is a really good aspect of this because a badge is what's sort of displayed next to your name if you pick it. So one of you guys, if you're mint at making badges or whatever, go and enter this because we could get a really cool 
I, don't, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head, but it gives the community an opportunity to contribute to the game and add something cool. Along with the badge, we have liveries as well. It seems like that Playground Games are going to pick some community-made liveries that will be featured on the event tiles in the event in the upcoming festival playlist. The event tiles are sort of the thumbnail squares that are on the festival playlist sort of thing. That is what this submission is for. So we get to fill in the form for the festival playlist, submit custom badges and also submit custom liveries for the festival playlist, which does add a bit of spice to it, which is pretty damn cool. This is very interesting because a lot of people would say that this is a good thing, that they are connecting with us and wanting us, literally are asking us, tell us what you want, and we'll give you that in an update. But you could also see it in the other way, where that means that every single thing that we will receive in this update will be a recycled item. The cars will be ones that we've seen before. The evolving world changes will be ones we've seen before. All of the rewards we've seen before. Now that doesn't mean there won't be any new cars in this update. I'm sure there'll be some new cars. There's nothing, there's no doubt about that. It all depends on when this update releases. Now it does say at the top that we have until September the 24th sorry, September the 25th to fill in this form. Now that is next Monday. It's a week on Monday. No, it's on Monday. Not a week on Monday. It's on Monday. So that's not very long. And I do believe that Playground Games plan their updates a long time in advance. So just as an example, I can imagine that October's theme is set in stone. November's update theme is set in stone. Probably December's as well. They probably work a good couple of updates in advance. So I can't imagine, in my opinion, we'll see this Community Choice series any sooner than November. But this does make you wonder if we are coming to the end of all of the main series themes for Forza Horizon 5, like the high performance update and, you know, all the ones where there are genuine themes. This update's not gonna have a custom theme. It's just community choice kind of thing, which is good. It might just be mixing it up. We don't really know just yet. It does half make you wonder though, if this is just something a little bit different for a change, maybe we'll just have this community choice series and then we'll get back to the awesome updates that we've been having lately with proper themes. Or this is a sign that they are coming towards the end of the major updates and they'll start to trickle away. Just like we talked about in the previous video where we had a look, Forza Horizon 4 stopped having major updates around series 30. Now we're on series 26 for Forza Horizon 5. So that's it's getting quite close. Now, as we mentioned, this game might have a bigger lifespan so we might have another year of big updates for all we know, we're not sure. But it does make you wonder, we're probably on the tail end of it by now. But that is for a good reason. That is not because they're forgetting about us. That's because they're working on much bigger things like Forza Horizon 6. There is no doubt in my mind that Forza Horizon 6 is in development right now. I can almost guarantee that. What do you think is going to be a part of the Community Choice update? And do you think it is a sign of the tail end of the Forza Horizon updates is approaching? It's been a good run. It's a brilliant game. Forza Horizon 6 is starting to be on my mind right now, as Horizon 5 has been out for almost two years. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone, and I'll see you all later.